SCP-2534, Future Pennies. Item number SCP-2534, Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-2534-1 instances that have not passed their two-year mark are to be kept in Containment Wing 14 of Site-32, individually wrapped in plastic and organized by their estimated recovery date. SCP-2534-1E is also to be contained in this manner. Only D-Class personnel are to handle, sort, and arrange these instances to ensure no personnel are accidentally affected. A week prior to an SCP-2534-1 instance's estimated two-year mark is to be held by a D-Class personnel to ensure ownership is transferred, then placed in a smaller, temporary containment locker until the D-Class experiences the anomalous effect. This D-Class is subsequently prohibited from testing any currency-related SCPs. SCP-2534-1 instances that have manifested their anomalous effects are considered inert, and to be kept in a standard containment crate in Containment Wing 15 of Site-32. Inert instances may be used for testing at the consent of one level 3 or higher researcher. Future uses have been proposed and are pending approval. Due to the unpredictability of SCP-2534 occurrence, retrieval of SCP-2534-1 directly from manifestation is not feasible with current resources. An advertising campaign under the guise of a U.S. Mint recall of SCP-2534-1's characteristic printing error is ongoing. Social media websites and applications are also to be tracked to identify SCP-2534-1 instances. Bank owners, government officials, U.S. Mint employees, and other individuals legally involved in handling large amounts of currency are to be closely monitored for possibility of SCP-2534-1 acquisition. Upon confirming location of an SCP-2534-1 instance, Mobile Task Force Row 7, Ford's Theater, will be dispatched for retrieval. The date of original acquisition, or a rough estimate thereof, is to be acquired from subject in possession, and Class C amnestics are to be administered where necessary. Expanded Eurozone retrieval procedures are being prepared should any more instances of SCP-2534-1E be discovered. Subjects who have experienced the anomalous effects of SCP-2534-1 are to be administered Class B amnestics and detained in Site-32-B. They are not to come in contact with any currency. Current global surveillance systems are to identify possible subjects by monitoring unusual circumstances such as caste disappearing, strange robberies, or other incidents. Description. SCP-2534 is a phenomenon which results in the manifestation of SCP-2534-1. SCP-2534 occurs almost always, see Addendum 2, in the United States, and only in areas commonly traversed on foot, such as sidewalks, parking lots, or the floors of public buildings. SCP-2534 manifestations have never been directly witnessed or recorded. Instances of SCP-2534-1 are United States pennies, in most cases identical to current pennies. However, the printed minting year of SCP-2534-1 instances is always two years ahead of the year of original recovery. Instances display limited destructibility. SCP-2534-1's anomalous effect will manifest exactly two years after it is first retrieved. At that time, the coin's current owner will lose all United States currency on their person, property, or otherwise in their possession. With the exception of instances of SCP-2534-1 and non-physical currency, such as bank balances or credit cards. Property loss usually occurs via theft, loss, or sudden expenses, each of which usually appears non-anomalous in nature. Any new U.S. currency acquired by the subject is lost in a similar manner shortly after acquisition. This effect makes it impossible for an affected subject to handle or use any United States legal tender, and does not cease until the death of the subject. SCP-2534-1 ownership can be transferred among persons. SCP-2534-1 being given, stolen, used as legal tender, or otherwise handled by another person, are all valid methods of transfer. If a subject loses SCP-2534-1 but is not handled by another individual, that subject remains the current owner. 
ownership cannot be transferred to animals, corpses, those already owning an instance of SCP-2534-1, or those who have already received SCP-2534-1's effects. After the subject has experienced SCP-2534-1's anomalous effect, the instance will become inert and cease any anomalous activity. Test Log Test 1. Subject D103122 Note, D103122 has received SCP-2534-1's effect and will be used to test the effect's parameters. Procedure D-103-122 is given one U.S. dollar and instructed to hold on to it for as long as possible. Results. D-103-122 placed the dollar in her pocket. When the pocket was checked again, a hole had opened in the bosom of it, and the dollar was not present. Test 2. Subject D-103-122. Procedure. A nickel, or 5 US cents, is taped to D-103-122's arm using transparent tape. Results. D-103-122 complained that the tape was too tight. When attempting to loosen it, the nickel fell out and rolled into a nearby grate. D-103-122 was unable to retrieve the nickel. Repeated tests all resulted in D-103-122 losing the nickel despite any changed variables. Test 3. Subject D-103-122. Procedure. D-103-122 is given one US dollar, one Canadian dollar, 100 Japanese yen, one pound, one euro, and five Chinese yuan. D-103-122 was then instructed to hold onto all the currency. Results. D-103-122 placed all currency in her other pocket. When the pocket was checked again, another hole was present in the bottom, but all currency remained except for the one US dollar. Test 4. Procedure. One quarter, or 25 US cents, is surgically inserted underneath the skin in D-103-122's leg. Results. Two weeks later, D-103-122 underwent testing with SCP Redacted. During the testing, SCP Redacted wounded her leg, breaking the skin and releasing the quarter. D-103-122 was then quickly evacuated from the testing chamber. Addendum, Incident 2534-S. On Redacted, the Redacted Bank of Redacted was robbed by four unidentified individuals. The entirety of the approximate redacted million dollars the bank had in storage was stolen. While investigating, J Redacted S Redacted, the owner of the bank, was confirmed to own an instance of SCP-2534-1. The instance was retrieved, and Mr. S Redacted was administered amnestics and relocated to Site 32B. Containment procedures were rewritten post-incident to ensure that no facilities or personnel important to the U.S. economy are affected by SCP-2434-1. Addendum 2. On Redacted 2015, a thread was made on Redacted, a popular image-sharing website. On the topic of a misprinted euro the poster had discovered. In the thread, an image was included of a one euro cent coin printed with the year 2017. The IP was traced to Redacted France, and MTF Row 7 was dispatched to retrieve the instance, now designated SCP-2534-1E. SCP-2534-1E was retrieved without error, date of retrieval was confirmed, and Class C amnestics were administered to the subject. SCP-2534-1E has retained the same physical properties as a normal SCP-2534-1 instance and it is assumed that it will have the same eventual effect as well. No other instances of SCP-2534-1E have since been reported or discovered. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, and if you want to see more from me, subscribe. Comment down below which SCP I should do a read on next.